children. Okay, today I'm starting with the chapter that is called climate. Okay, we have already done in our previous classes, that is in Zoom class, I'd already explained to you the type of climate which prevails in India. In general, we call as the tropical monsoon type of climate. Then I explained to you about the regional variations. As you know very well, though there's a great uh, unity of the monsoon type of climate, but remember one thing, there's a great differences in climate according to the regions of the country. Which example I've given you? When you go to the uh, when you see the climatic conditions of Bihar and Uttar Pradesh in the north, it has it differs from the climatic condition of Kerala and Tamil Nadu that is in the south. But what I mean to say is that yet all of these states they have a similar monsoon type of climate. Then I explain you about the seasonal variations in temperature. See, from place to place, as well as from region to region, okay, there's a great differences in the temperature. A simple example I'll give you. A place there is a, a place named as Barmer, that is in Rajasthan. It may record a temperature something around 45, sorry, 48 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius on a June, on a particular month called June. Whereas on that particular day, okay, on that particular day, on the month of June, if you move towards to Pahalgam or Gulmak, that is in Kashmir, there the temperature reaches 22 degrees Celsius. So this is what I mean to say. There's a different type of temperature which occurs from place to place or from reason to reason. Okay, today, yesterday I'd already explained you, in our Zoom class I'd already explained you about the temperature. Now, let us move towards to precipitation. It has to be noted on Preci precipitation, the amount of rainfall. Okay, so here it has been said that there's also a lot of differences which occur not only type of precipitation, of course though rainfalls are, whether it is a relief rainfall, whether it is a convectional rainfall, but also there is a great difference in the amount and the seasonal distribution. Amount. What amount of rainfall is received by a particular place? Okay, got it. The other places. So there is a great difference, okay, as well as seasonal distribution. Now, in a particular season, what amount of rainfall has been received by that particular place? There is a great difference. Now, when I come to snowfall, okay, you know where real snowfall occurs in Himalayas, most probably. The Himalayan region, the mountainous region, especially covered with snowfall, or just snow. Whereas it only rains over the rest of the country. In the rest of the country, there will be a rainfall. Tell me precipitation, Manchu. Is it clear? Now, let me tell you the differences, the variations which occur in the type of precipitation. Now, Cherapunji and Moishwaram in Meghalaya. Try to understand, okay? That is in eastern part of India. Cherapunji and Maheshwaram, that is in Meghalaya, they receive about 1,100 centimeter of rainfall in a year. Like for example, let me mark you this diagram. Okay. Now, there are some places out here. Okay. Got it? And Rajasthan out here. In this area, they'll receive something around 1,100 centimeters of rainfall in a year. This, whereas Jaisal Mill, yeah, in Rajasthan, it hardly received 9 centimeters of rainfall in a year. See the difference of rainfall. See the differences of precipitation received by the different regions of our country. Cherapunji and Mohishwaram, which is in the uh, eastern part of India, they receive 1,100 centimeters of rainfall in a year, whereas Jaisal Mill, that is in Rajasthan, it's in India only, try to understand. Meghalaya, yeah, it's in India only. Rajasthan, it's in India only. But see the differences of the amount of precipitation received by these two countries, sorry, these two states of India. 1,100 centimeter out here and you're less than 9 centimeter rainfall in a year. Just imagine. See the decreasing of rainfall from east to west. There is a place called Tura in Meghalaya. Okay, there is a place called Tura in Meghalaya. This place will receive an amount of rainfall in a single day, Eke Dinma. Which has been received by Jaisalmer in Rajasthan in something around 10 years. Jaisalmer ma dos parsa junter pani parsa. Tio pani tura bane jaga megalama ekatinda pancha. Just imagine. Is it clear? It's been said that 
Tura in Meghalaya gets an amount of rainfall in a single day, which is equal to 10 years of rainfall at Jaisalmer in Rajasthan. Is it clear now? Tura ma, Meghalaya ma, the rainfall which they receive in a day, out of the din ma, single day, Jaisalmer will receive that amount of rainfall something around more than 10 years. Now, the Coromandel Coast. A Coromandel Coast, can say, yes, sir, this is Coromandel Coast, isn't it? Yes, sir, Coromandel Coast. This is Coromandel Coast, okay? This Coromandel Coast remains dry in the month of July and August. I mean, your coast. This coast will remain dry in the month of July and August. Whereas the Ganga Delta, Ganga Delta, cow, yo, this is Ganga Delta. Okay? This is Ganga Delta. This Ganga Delta, okay, and the coastal plains of Odisha, your coastal plains, okay, this will receive. These have been hit by the storms almost every third or fifth day during this month. Every third or fifth day, July and August, ma, these two places, these two places have been hit by the storms, whereas this Coromandel coast will be completely dry, remain dry. Now, most parts of India receive rainfall during the month of June and September, you know very well. It is from the month of June to September. Okay, most parts of India, try to understand, most parts of India, they will receive rainfall from the month of June to September. But the coastal areas, these coastal areas, which I'll call here, yeah, okay, these coastal areas of Tamil Nadu, you know, the Tamil Nadu coast, this coast, this coast will receive the rainfall in the beginning of the winter season. Yeah, it's a winter rain, Unsa. Okay, let me, let me explain you one thing. How does the Coromandel coast or Tamil Nadu coast gets winter rainfall? Question. Question I end. Suppose. Say. Now, see, when you go for the monsoon mechanism, okay, there are two types of monsoon. One we call as southwest monsoon. Arkola Ami monsoon. North East Monsoon. Okay. Now, Southwest Monsoon. Yes, it's also. This is the Southwest Monsoon. Is that clear? Dear children, got it? This we call as Southwest Monsoon winds. Okay. These winds are responsible for bringing rainfall in winter during the month of uh, summer seasons. Is that clear? Something around June, July, August. Okay. Now, there is another wind which blows from this direction. Yo. Ella Monsami. Northeast monsoon winds. See, these are the southwest monsoon winds and these are the northeast monsoon winds. I, I, let us come to the point of Coromandel Coast, Tamil Nadu. It is, see, Tamil Nadu coast is only the coast in India which receives rainfall during the month of uh, winter season. Is it clear? During the winter months, this Coromandel coast or the Tamil Nadu coast will receive camera pouncer from northeast monsoon. See, northeast monsoon. See, northeast monsoon are the dry winds. Our dry winds le cause the pani layo. Question mark out the tenera. There's a question. Okay. There a question mark will be there. How does a dry wind bring rain? Question answer. Northwest monsoon. It blows this way. Okay. But see, by the time when this dot, I mean, yeah, it's blowing from the land, over the land, okay? This northeast monsoon is blowing over the land. When it is blowing over the land, obviously, there is no chances of collecting any moisture. Any moisture, okay, good, right? These winds are dry winds. By the time when it, when it crossed Bay of Bengal, Java, your monsoon, Bay of Bengal cross got, so at that time, this northeast monsoon will collect certain amount of moisture from the water body called Bay of Bengal. Bengal Bengal Bara, Moisha, Kalit Gacha, and this directly come in hits to the Tamil Nadu coasts. Coromandel coast, Vanda Muncha. Tamil Nadu coast, my heat Gacha, when it hits to this coast, it releases its rain in this area. That's the current Tamil Nadu coast is only the coast in India which gets rainfall in the beginning of the winter season. Is it clear? Got it? Okay. Now, <coughs> see. I will just draw here, try to understand, okay, let's say these are the western ghats, try to understand, okay, what are these, western ghats. These are the eastern ghats, okay, 
यो के हो ईस्टर्न घाट्स अब यहाँ के विनवर्ड साइड और लीवर्ड साइड हो अब यो वेस्टर्न खास भो दिज आर द विन वर्ड साइड इस हम भू विन वर्ड साइड ईस्टर्न खास यो भो इस हम भू विन वर्ड साइड यता विनवर्ड साइड यता लीवर्ड साइड यता विनवर्ड साइड यता लीवर्ड साइड लीवर्ड साइड मीन्स रेन सैडो एरिया रेन सैडो एरिया मीन्स द एरिया विच विल हार्डली रिशिव रेनफल अब जो साउथ वेस्ट मनसून जान मैक्सिम पानी यहाँ फैंक हो Is that clear? Most of the water. Eta ko north east monsoon. Yo area. Yo winds. Wind what side? Yo main ta. Yo rainy area. Okay. Now let me come to us to the next point. Okay. Let me come to us to the next point. That is factors affecting. This is very important, dear children. Okay. Factors affecting the climate of India. Factors affecting. The climate of India. Okay, let's see what are the factors. Okay, what are the factors which affect the climate of India? Get it, sir. What are the factors? Now, when I say climate, what is climate? It is specially a uh, average weather condition spread over a long period of period for a given uh, large area. So, climate. Okay, climate refers climate refers to a generalized and composite picture of the average weather conditions spread over a long period for a given large area. If the whole area, large area, for a given for a long period, this co weather condition kio. Tell me, I am going to climate. Now, let's see what are the factors which influence the climate of India. Number one factor. Number one factor which influence the climate of India is the Himalayas. About this, I had already explained in the previous classes, also in the pre previous videos. Okay, also I had already explained you. See why or how can you say that Himalayas affects the climate of India? How does the Himalayas influence the climate of India? Now, first and the foremost thing you know very well, the Himalayas form a climatic barrier. Yeah, Mathi Himalayas sir, it act as a climatic barrier, which I had already explained you in our previous, um, in my previous recording. Okay. See, Himalayas act as a climatic barrier which separate Indian subcontinent from the rest of Asia. Asia, the kinko, Asia, the kinko, Indian subcontinent, chuttaunsa ke le Himalayas le. Is it clear? So we can call Himalayas as a climatic barrier because it separate the Indian subcontinent from the rest of Asia. One must point to be remember out here. First and the foremost thing, the cold wind which is blowing from Siberia or Central Asia. Okay, the cold wind blows from Siberia or Central Asia. That cold wind will not be allowed to enter inside India. Kele protect garcha Himalayas le. Is it clear? It will not allow the cold wind to enter the Indian region. Or else, if if the Himalayas were not there, then India could become a cold desert. Point number one. Just see, it is our fortunate. That Himalaya is present out there. Just because of the presence of Himalaya, India is not a cold desert. Himalaya is not ha India cold desert ma convert hunthio because of very very chilling winds. Okay, very chilling winds blows from Central Asia as well as from Siberia. Two wind cold winds hai India bitra posnu paunde na kelly roksa Himalaya isle. Point number one. Not only that, arco pointer it's which is very very important. Next point: the moisture laden southwest monsoon. Don't you know, sir? Southwest monsoon. Let's just say moisture. Okay, let's understand this, sir. Okay, the southwest monsoon, which is blowing from here, by the time they reach here, this southwest monsoon will not allow. See, southwest monsoon will not be allowed to pass from India because it will up the Himalayas will obstruct that wind. Himalayas let the Himalayas by the Janu di daina, so it will force that wind to share its rainfall in India. Is it clear? Are you understanding? So, because of the presence, because of the presence of Himalaya, it will force the moisture-laden southwest monsoon winds to shed rainfall in India. Himalaya le garda southwest moisture-laden winds. Unse urdei garega unsa till le due to the presence of Himalayas, it will force that wind to drop their rain to shed their rain in India. If Himalayas not would. If the Himalayas would not be there, then India would be a dry region. Now imagine, Gaurav Thimalle. 
Just imagine yourself, okay, let's say Himalayas Thena Re. China Hari Himalayas. Okay. Bujo, Mettai Diyo Himalayas Amile. If Himalayas would not be there, then India could just be a cold desert with a dry region. Where it was not possible for us to survive in this country. It would simply be a cold desert or a dry region. Just due to the presence, see, this is all the gift of the Almighty God, the nature which has provided Himalayas out here and Himalayas has, been, has saved us a lot. So that is the reason why Himalayas can be called rightly, you can rightly call Himalayas as a climatic barrier. This is number one influence, the factors which affect the climate of India, that is the Himalayas. Our point number two, my the monsoon winds. A monsoon winds, my log in a leg, the Alex Yanira. I'd already marked out here. Etabar a blue one winds like I mean, southeast monsoon monsoon, etabar a one north, north east, where a one wind like I mean, north east monsoon monsoon, according to the direction which they blow. Okay, we keep the name of the winds according to the direction they blow. I mean, your southwest were blow, so we call these winds as the southwest monsoon winds. Your north, they in east, north east, we call this wind as a northeast monsoon. Now, let us see the second factors. Try to understand, dear children, try to remember the factors which affect the climate of India. Number one factor, Himalayas. I already explained you how Himalayas affect the climate of India. I had already explained you out here. Now, second point, let me go to also the monsoon winds. The monsoon winds have almost a universal effect in bringing summer rains over the whole of South Asia. See, when I come to the monsoon winds, obviously, obviously, these winds are the winds which completely bring summer rains over the whole of South Asia. South Asia, Bori. Okay, South Asia, Bori. I'm not talking about India itself only. South Asia, all countries, Panisha, Afghanistan, Pakistan, okay, uh, Myanmar, Bhutan, Sri Lanka, okay. You hold South Asia, ma. It is the monsoon winds which bring, brings rainfall during the summer. Now, during summers, wind move quickly into the peninsula India towards to the low pressure system of northwest India from the Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal. Abo, southwest monsoon. Abo, your Arabian Sea, you, you know very well. Your Arabian Sea, bhaiyo. Your bhaiyo, Timro, Bay of Bengal. Yani, it's a Bay of Bengal. Yeah, and it is an Indian Ocean. Is it clear? Abo, try to understand, okay? During summer months, during summer seasons, what happened? Winds move quickly into Peninsula India. Peninsula India, kunza ho? This part is called Peninsula India. Your part lai hami ke bansu? Peninsula India bansu, the your part lai. Because why we call this part of the Peninsula India? Peninsula bane ke ho? It is a land which is surrounded by water bodies on three sides. Abo, your land, sir, your land lai... Tinta tine poti water bodies le surround karik sa one hand side Arabian Sea, the other hand side Bay of Bengal, your Indian Ocean. Ela hami wansu peninsula. Is it clear? Now, during summers, what happened? Winds move very quickly. Ekdami chito hawa chalzo kata tira peninsula India. Because yani re kye develop hako uncha low pressure system. Northwest India, okay. Uh, the low pressure system of Northwest India from the Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal. See, Arabian Sea, the Bay of Bengal, but awa ek. Quickly, it moves very quickly towards to the peninsula India. The moisture carried by these southwesterly winds, there a moisture in a job, yeah, but a blow on yeah, but a blow on the southwest monsoon. It will they will carry moisture. Is it clear? Got it? These winds will carry moisture from the Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal, and this moisture which has been carried from Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal by this wind called Southeast Monsoon, this will bring rainfall towards to the most part of Indian subcontinent. Entire continent, ma, leaving Tibet dry in the rain shadow area of the Himalayas. Okay, Tibet lami chordin chu, why? Kina, because Tibet mat kani, kina pani pardon, because it falls into the rain shadow area. Suppose mani liu yo Himalayas, mani liu yo Himalayas, Tibet yaan sa, suppose, let's say, abu yu Tibet the rain shadow area ma parenta, Wind yeah, but around there. So this is windward side, this is leeward side, rain shadow area. Don't get confused, dear children. Don't get confused. Rain shadow area and leeward side are yo. Is it clear? Are you understanding? So only it will do see whole Indian subcontinent pani lounge, you do monsoon winds lay. Okay. Leaving 
Tibet dry because Tibet lies into the rain shadow area of the Himalayas. The southwest monsoon starts retreating by the end of September. By the end of September, the southwest monsoon starts retreating. Retreating means withdrawing the answer. Is it clear? Chor the answer. The southwest monsoon starts retreating by the end of September. Where do you go? Punjab, Uttar Pradesh. By the October, central India lies chor the answer. And by the end of November from South India. अब ये सिर्फ छोड़ते ही जानते हैं दिस साउथ वेस्ट मॉनसून ले आज आई टोल यू बाय द एंड ऑफ सितंबर सितंबर में यो एरिया छोड़ चा इस इट क्लियर सितंबर में उत्तर प्रदेश पंजाब छोड़ चा अक्टूबर अक्टूबर में यो एरिया छोड़ चा विद्रोह होते ही जानते हैं छोड़ते ही छोड़ते ही जानते हैं साउथ वेस्ट मॉनसून ले एउटा कुरा याद गर साउथ इंडिया इज फर्स्ट टू सी द साउथ वेस्ट मॉनसून विंड एंड इट इज लास्ट टू सी द साउथ वेस्ट मॉनसून विंड पैला यहीं भेट लास्ट में ये एरिया छोड़ यहाँ पर जान ये छोड़ते 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 आँच इज इट क्लियर आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग गॉड इट रिट्रीट होते जान गॉड इट रिट्रीटिंग मॉनसून ब्रिंग्स रेन इन ईस्टर्न कोस्टल रिजन यो जो रिट्रीट होते जान यो मॉनसून विंड छोड़ते जान विड्रल हो ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम अ सर्टन अमाउंट अफ रेनफॉल विल बी ब्रॉट इन द ईस्टर्न कोस्टल रिजन यो कोस्टल रिजन में पानी लिया इज इट क्लियर ड्यूरिंग विंटर हे रे विंटर में ऑफ शोर विंड्स ऑन शोर विंड्स एंड ऑफ शोर विंड्स ऑन शोर विंड्स साउथ वेस्ट मॉनसून ने लिया द मोइस्चर लैर एंड विंड्स जो लेज़ पानी बोकर एक ऊंचा तला मंच ऑनसोर विंड्स, ओके? ऑफसोर विंड्स आर द ड्राई विंड्स, कि ना वने ऑफसोर विंड्स विल ब्लो फ्रॉम द लैंड। अब लेट अस कम टू द नॉर्थ ईस्ट मॉनसून। यो यो मॉनसून को करा करो, यहाँ पर ब्लो होने नॉर्थ ईस्ट मॉनसून को करा करो। दिस नॉर्थ ईस्ट मॉनसून विंड्स आर � अब यहाँ ने रहा हाई प्रेशर डेवलप बाकी उनसे यो एरिया में लो प्रेशर डेवलप होता है लैंड में हाई प्रेशर वाटर बजी में लो प्रेशर आगे क्या भाइयो डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज जब साउथ वेस्ट मॉनसून ब्लो होता है इसे यहाँ ने रहा वाटर बजी में हाई प्रेशर डेवलप बाकी उनसे लैंड में लो प्रेशर बाकी उनसे बॉडी इन विंटर मंथ्स के उनसे वने यानी रहा हाई प्रेशर डेवलप बाको उनसे लैंड में हाई प्रेशर डेवलप बाको उनसे वाटर बॉडीज में लो प्रेशर डेवलप बाको उनसे सो दैट इज़ द रीज़न व्हाई विन ब्लोस फ्रॉम द लैंड टूवर्स टू द सी वाटर बॉडी ओके नाउ आई टोल यू इट ब्लोस फ्रॉम द हाई प्रेशर टू � Bay of Bengal को heat में centered भागों उनसे त्यो low pressure से is it clear? These winds originate in Mongolia in northwest China. अब यो winds से कहाँ बरो शुरू होने चाहिए? Northwest, sorry, northeast monsoon winds. Try to understand my dear children. Northeast monsoon winds से कहाँ बरो शुरू भागों उनसे वने it is been originated, it is been started in a place called Mongolia and the northwest China. Northwest China और Mongolia बरो से शुरू भागों उनसे यो northeast monsoon wind. As they blow over a vast landmass, hey, अब इन अब जब ब्लो उधर से इन कहाँ पर ब्लो उधर लैंड पर है, they are not blowing over this water body, they are blowing over the vast landmasses. That is the reason why these winds are cold and dry. So कहाँ उनसे एकदम चीज़ आवाज़ चल सके? These cold winds join the trade winds to pass over the Bay of Bengal. अब यो जब ब्लो उधर जान सके, finally they cross over the Bay of Bengal and the whatever the amount of moisture they collected. Okay, they had collected from a Bay of Bengal. They come and directly strike towards to the Tamil Nadu coast. Is it clear? They directly come and strike towards to the Tamil Nadu coast. That is the reason why Tamil Nadu receives rainfall in winter. Is it clear, dear children? Is it clear? This northeast monsoon, when it is blowing, when it cross over Bay of Bengal, 
It carries a certain amount of moisture and finally it comes and hits the coast of Tamil Nadu and Tamil Nadu coast will receive rainfall in winter. It is only this coast which will receive rainfall during the winter months. So, second factor which affect the climate of India was the monsoon winds. Now, the third factor that is latitude. About latitude, you know what are latitude? These are the, all the imaginary lines. Isn't it? Latitudes are the imaginary lines. Okay, like for example, the important lines of latitude, you know very well. Equator, zero degree. Yes or no? Tropic of Cancer, 23 and half degree north. Tropic of Capricorn, 23 and half degree south. Arctic Circle, 66 and half degree north. Antarctic Circle, 66 and half degree south. I mean, you, these are five important lines of latitude. You have already learned about these lines of latitudes and longitudes. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the Indian subcontinent is divided in two parts by the Tropic of Cancer. Right. Indian subcontinent. Indian subcontinent like two parts by the Tropic of Cancer. line le. This line. This is this line is called Tropic of Cancer. This line of latitude, which we call Tropic of Cancer, which is 23 and half degree north, has divided the Indian subcontinent into two equal halves. The northern portion lies in the temperate zone. Amor, let me make it much more clear, okay, about this latitude, my dear children. This is the Tropic of Cancer I'm talking about. Okay. Tropic of Cancer. 23 and a half degree north. This Tropic of Cancer had divided India into two equal halves. Okay. Manilio, yes, that's India. Okay, two equal halves. Got it? Now, remember one thing. The northern portions, your north portion, I know your Tropic of Cancer, go. Your north portion. Northern portion is in what zone? You zone la hami banchu temperate zone. Is it clear? Now the southern portions, don't say your south portion, sir. You zone la hami ke banchu tropical zone. I mean, don't get confused, okay? Ab tropical zone ma kosto climate hunsa bane. Tropical type of climate. Ab tropical type of climate bane is kyo? Especially here, okay? In this type, actually, there will be no seasons. Okay, got it. Especially hot and wet throughout the year. Hot and wet throughout the year. Okay, your time. Now, we have temperate zone. Temperate zone, what is the climate? Hot in summer, cold in winters. There is a difference of climate I am just talking about. But as a whole, in a general, what type of climate does we have in India? Tropical monsoon. You have the climate. Tropical monsoon. Monsoon type in general. Say in general in India we have tropical monsoon type of climate. Thara, when we look off out here, your tropical zone must say tropical climate, sir. Your temperate zone must your temperate type of climate, sir. Okay. Now the warm temperate or subtropical climate of northern zone gives it cold winter season and hot summer season. Temperate zone, don't say warm temperate zone, sir. Yeah, cost of halke climate in sir. Cold winter season and hot summer season. Yes, ma say winters ma chiso uncha. We'll be having cold winters and we'll be having hot summers. The southern tropical zone. Ah, yes, ma hero. Okay, when you come to the southern tropical zone in the climatic zone of India, this is warmer than the north. These areas are warmer than the north and they don't have a clear cut winter season. Mal agi ma nekhe. Yani season sahi na. Clear cut winter season hoda hai na yani ra. In the tropical zone yani winter season hoda hai na. Temperate zone is winter season. Summer season or winter season is winter season. It will be summer. It will be very hot in summer and very cold in winter. But in the tropical zone, here, the areas which fall in the tropical zone, here, the climate is quite warmer comparing to the temperate zone. And in this zone, you don't have a clear cut winter season. Here, the winter season is not winter season. Similarly, the northern zone does not have the midday sun almost vertically over the head during any part of the year. Same. Abhi Esma, you area ma, there will be no midday sun almost vertically overhead during any part. Kune part ma pan in any part of the year, 
द रेज अफ द सन डज नट फॉल डाइरेक्टली वर्टिकली हो एज सदन जोन हेट द मिड डे सन अलमोस्ट वर्टिकल ओवर हेड एट ट्वाइस एवरी इयर दुईपल्ट मार्च एंड जून में ओके दुईपल्ट एवरी सरी नट मार्च जून एंड सेप्टेम्बर ओके जून एंड सेप्टेम्बर में यो एरिया में ओवर हिड हो सन द रेज अफ द सन विल बी ओवर हिड इन दिस एरिया इज अट क्लियर सो दिस इज अबाउट द लैटिट्यूड हाउ डज द लैटिट्यूड लैटिट्यूड विल स्पेशली अफेक्ट द क्लाइमेट अफ इंडिया नौ फोर्थ पॉइंट फोर्थ पॉइंट वराइड रिलीफ अरे we have got the different type of relief feature in them a different type of relief feature so and relief plays a very important role especially in the climatic condition ab india ko jun chai climate cha okay relief has really played a very important role now western ghats western ghats gets heavy rainfall on western side because they stand in the way of the southwest monsoon winds which come from the arabian sea ab maile western ghats okay maile banaye yani ra suppose let's say western ghats okay yo yo western ghats is a continuous chain ho Continuous range, oh. Now this western gas gets heavy rainfall on the western side. A western side, which one? Your side. This is the western side. This is the eastern side. Okay. Now this side, this side of the western gas will get heavy rainfall. Okay. Because why? Be they, because they are facing towards to the southwest monsoon, which are coming from the Arabian Sea. Now your southwest monsoon, you know, face got this under. On the maximum, yeah, strike by the maximum amount of water that yeah pours under. Is it clear? You the leeward side by you. Is it clear? On the other hand side, the Deccan Plateau gets less rainfall. Ab you, you Deccan Plateau, anta? Another a table land Deccan Plateau. Okay. So on the other hand side, this area, the Deccan Plateau area, receive very less rainfall. Why? Because it lies in the rain shadow area. Here, question on structure. Sometimes the question may come, like for example, why Cherrapunji is receiving greater rainfall uh, in summer rather than uh, uh, in Rajasthan? They receive only nine centimeter. Kina. Because Cherrapunji lies in the windward side, okay. Jaisalmer, Jhansa, Rajasthan, yeah, sir. It, it, especially, yeah, near our, you have a Arabali Hills out here. It is, it runs, it lies towards to the parallel of the Arabali Hills. When you see you the windward, sorry, leeward side, ma, pardon. So don't get confused. The question may come. See, like for example, uh, on the other hand, the Deccan Plateau gets rainfall, as it lies in the rain shadow area. Your rain shadow area, sir, yeah, at least. Windward side, massa. This area is receiving more rainfall. This area is receiving less rainfall. Why? Because this area lies into the windward side. This area lies towards to the rain shadow area. Similarly, in Rajasthan, go kura jo. Yeah, ni ro yeah yeah. Eru. In Rajasthan, the Aravalli rise range is parallel to the direction of the southwest monsoon. Eru. Southwest monsoon the acid soil desan ta. Mani bachi. Yo Aravalli hills the parallel bike bai na. Ab yo the yeah go ro thoke ro yeh ta zoom ani jaan udhi thay na. It cannot cross. ये तो जैसे ये तो ही मुन्नु पर हैं ता, so this Aravalli hills specially lies towards to the parallel, okay? It lies towards to the parallel to the direction of the southwest monsoon, so it is unable to stop the moisture laden winds. अब यो moisture laden ला रोकने सकता है ना? यो छीरी आज छीरा यहाँ माती जान सा, is it clear? Try to understand. The southern hills of Assam get heavy rainfall. अब यो area ये तो area वाले in the southern hills of Assam, okay? In this area, they specially gets heavy rainfall, but the northern hills does not. की ना? Because southern hills अब साउथ यो सपोज यो आसाम हिल्स भयो सपोज अब यो साउथर्न हिल्स भयो यो साउथ भयो यो नॉर्थ भयो अब पानी त एले रोकी हालछ नि त इज इट क्लियर दैट मीन्स दिस साउथर्न हिल्स लाइज टुवर्स टु द रेन शेडो एरिया दिस नॉर्थर्न हिल्स लाइज टुवर्स टु द लीवर्ड एरिया इज इट क्लियर आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग यो विंडवर्ड एरिया विंडवर्ड एरिया यो रेन शेडो एरिया और लीवर्ड एरिया इज इट क्लियर सो दैट इज द रीजन व्हाई द साउथर्न हिल्स अफ आसाम हिल्स ओके विल गेट मोर रेनफॉल Comparing towards the northern, got it. This is because the southern hills force the moisture laden winds to set their moisture before they proceed northwards. Mal agi bhani aale. These southern hills, okay, will not allow the moisture laden winds to pass by. Is it clear? It will force the moisture laden to shed the rainfall in this area. So, my dear children, uh, one thing you should make it very much clear: the area which lies towards to the rain shadow area. Okay, the area which lies towards to the windward area. Just don't get confused. Okay, whichever area lies to the windward side will receive more rainfall than the rain shadow area. Is that clear? Are you understanding? Got it? Okay, dear children. Today I'll be stopping you. Okay, 
So we will see later on, we'll continue later on. In the next chapter, I may start about the same factors. I have not completed the factors which affect the climate. I did only Himalayas, mountain, uh, monsoon winds, latitude, varied relief. So still some more factors are there, altitude and all influence of the surrounding seas. So better when you, after watching these videos, okay, please go through it. Go through the other factors, read it, try to understand. Okay, and if you have any problem, you can ask me. Okay, this much for today. Thank you very much.